Thank you. Hello, thank you. And welcome back to the show. Now, if you're a fan of top-class comedy, then you're probably watching the wrong show. <laughs> Um, but you may have been aware that last week our county was visited by a genuinely funny man, helium-voiced heartthrob Joe Pasquale. But you've been to Yarmouth many times, haven't you? I've been to Yarmouth about 25 years, yeah. Mm -hmm. I lived in Lowestoft for, for about 15 years. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, when I've got, it's like coming home for me, this kid. <laughs> and it's your birthday today. Yeah, it it's is. It's great. A terrific response. And I, I, I just I think the amazing thing, a lot of this yeah. just comes off your head on, on the day. Yeah, so I Off your head, that sounded a bit strange. Out no, of your head. Yeah, that's off my head as well. You are, <laughs> I am off my head as well. But I think it, yeah. it helps the spontaneity of it, because you never, as you can see, we get a lot of audience participation. You never know what you're going to get. Yeah and never know how they're going to respond to it so yeah you have to be able to adapt yeah but that's what's good about it that's what i love about it uh, and live audiences yeah i mean yeah. you've done a fair bit of tv i've done a lot of telly but yeah. i just like i still like it's, it's my day job it's what i love to do yeah yeah, yeah. you said i felt it just comes across that i love to do it still oh it does and i mean yeah. terrific reaction out there. but yeah i've still got this same atmosphere, atmosphere it always had that's what i love about well, it you know and the theaters are still here the circus is still going yeah. Um, you know, the Jays are still keeping that around, which I think is, is part of yeah. the um, heritage. And great that, you know, the Britannia's still it's going, huge, isn't it? What a great yeah. theatre. The Wellington's still there, so, but unfortunately they don't have a lot of shows up there yeah, anymore, you know, yeah. but I love this pier. Yeah, well, it's really nice that you come and support it. No, I love it. What's really nice is they've still got my same picture out from 20 years ago. Well, they don't change <laughs> you, my picture. I'm just going to get out of the Don't look at it. Yeah, you see, there's no grey hair at all. Oh, well, thanks ever so much. No, can you just say hello to everyone watching Mustard TV? Hello, you? everyone at Mustard Television. This is, uh, this is Joe Pasquale speaking. And if you look like your passport photo, you're too ill to travel. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Good oh. stuff. And that was your first attempt on an iPhone, there, wasn't it, Helen? Modern technology and all that. I know. Well, it wasn't too bad, it I suppose. Too was it too bad, yeah. Not, not too no, bad. Course. What a nice man. Absolutely. And joining us nice now man. is Paul yes. Johnson, who's the production manager at the Britannia Theatre. Hello. Um, thanks for joining us. Um, Joe is a whole, one of the whole host of stars you've had at the, the theatre, haven't you? Yeah. yeah the Joe's, Joe's lovely. He's never any trouble for us. And, and he's, he's an old stalwart. He comes back every year and does the shows. And we have a bit of a hoot, to be honest. Yeah. It looks like he keeps it pretty fresh as well, doesn't he? In, in, in his set like he does. It's never the same. Yeah. There's, there's little bits that he perhaps he'll resurrect every now and again from perhaps 20 years ago. Well, but yeah, as we see here. Oh dear. And as, as you were saying, it's a very nice man. Let's just explain that you are production manager, which yeah. sounds very important, obviously. I did uh, say that, Helen. Oh, did you? Oh, sorry, I wasn't yeah, listening. But, uh, uh, sorry. Well, when you speak, <laughs> I fall asleep. I can't be bothered. It was you going, oh, 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 oh at the beginning. Um, so, uh, where was I? Um, yes, and you've been there for many, many years now. Yeah, we, I'm a bit of a nomad, so because I live locally, every summer I come home and it's just like... The Britannia, as you, every, everybody knows now, it's a seasonal theatre. I mean, it's, it opens about July and by October it's running down again. So there's no staff, nothing at all, it's just a big empty building and I go in with a pile of people and we make the shows happen. I mean, that's a difficult thing to do. I mean, do you look for new talent every year you want to bring in or do you always like to go back to the, your stalwarts well, like Joe Pasquale's? Oddly, we try to get new stuff. Um, but we always fall back on the old stalwarts who we know do a good job because it's for holiday makers. Mm. Um, the, where we are, it's not exactly a, a high spending type of the, part of the country, mm. so lots of the locals don't go. But it's, it is too expensive. And but some of those, sorry, yes. Helen, some of those kind of those acts as well, they shoot the, the theatre, don't they? They suit the, the theatre perfectly. Yeah, they, they suit the theatre and they suit the audience. Mm. I mean, you know, they're, they're not going to go and watch Shakespeare. No. They want to go out and have an evening's entertainment and have a bit of fun. But you have got some big names coming. I mean, Joe Pasquale, you know, a lot of people know him. And who else have you got? Uh, well, Jimmy coming? Carr's coming at the end of this week. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. um, and for the first time in, gosh, uh, 20 years, we've got two shows. We've sold out the first house at 7.30 and we've put another one on for 10.30. Um, it's now been brought forward to 10 o'clock and no one has actually noticed that the two things are going to overlap to a little degree. Yeah. So that's going to be fun. And now, it, uh, I know there's been a few romances there, haven't there? Oh, uh, notable. Yeah. Uh, well, perhaps you can't tell us, tell us about them, but well, uh, tell us about the ones you can. Well, um, the, the, the biggest Debbie, one. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we, we did a Paul Daniel show back in, I think it was 1984. Probably my first year, actually, and I was, I was a very lowly backstage person who didn't really know what I was doing. Some people probably say I don't <laughs> anymore. Um, and Debbie McGee was a dancer in the show. Oh, okay. And that's actually where they first met. Oh. So it's the Britannia Pier in Yarmouth was there. So she wasn't his glamorous assistant at the time? No, she no. She was, she was one of a bunch of the girls who, who, were, who were the dancers. Yes. And, um, you can see what she saw in he's him. Done, he's done well for himself. Yeah. He's batting. And he's batting. And she's still yeah. in charge. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> and <laughs> uh, no, well, loads and loads of people you've met over the, over the way. Some you've liked. Who, who haven't you liked so much? Or who's been a bit difficult? 
Oh, that's an easy one. Is it? Oh, okay. absolutely. Jim Davidson. Right. Um, okay. It's a great show. He does. Uh, the people really enjoy it, and yeah. he's a complete and utter impossibility to work. Well, I was going to say then, did you? Yeah. Complete and utter. What was yeah. it yeah. ta ta talented man, though. A very yeah. talented yeah. man, and yeah. he knows what he's doing, and he's yeah. also technically very competent, which means that he winds up the staff all the time. Yeah. You'll, yeah. you'll spend ten minutes running around for, because of a faulty microphone really? to discover that it was him actually doing it. Look, what like they used to in the, in the Norman Collier days. Yes. Yeah, we um, never do anything like that on this no, show, I, do no, we? No, not in the slightest, no. no. And, and there was a bit of a mix-up over a name as well, of a, a, a couple of big names. Yeah, so no one actually ever owns up to it, but no. um, we did actually book what we thought was Neil Morrissey. When you say we, do you mean you? <laughs> No. Oh, okay. No. Um, although perhaps it could be said I should have noticed, but right. there we, but no, we, we thought we were doing Neil Morrissey <laughs> until someone said I didn't know he did stand-up comedy, and um, we actually got Morrissey the singer, <laughs> which the people in the in the box office couldn't cope with and took the phone off the hook in the end. <laughs> and he was a bit difficult, I think. Um, he was. He. Um, I wasn't allowed to look at him. <laughs> Helen says that to me all the time. <laughs> That's quite normal here at Masters. Uh, actually, I'd rather not, not look at you. I'm not allowed yeah. to make yeah. eye contact. Yes, yeah, so what, what, you weren't allowed to look no, at no, him. No, his, no, his manager so, asked, yeah. would I mind awfully if I stood in the wings looking at the wall? <laughs> because if he caught sight of me, he might decide he didn't like me very much and he right. might walk off. Wow. And, and he was a bit yeah. demanding as well, I gather. Well, yes. we, we did have to go on a... On a a run to the local shops for 80 bath towels to go between his dressing room and the toilet. Right, and we had to okay. buy a new loose seat. Yeah. Well, Morris, if you're watching, mm. uh, <laughs> thanks. Well, he probably... A brilliant picture. If of you're you. watching, we're not looking at you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't look, don't look no, at the camera. No, we're don't not, look we're not the looking at you at all, no. I, I, um, asked, I went off stage to go to the loo. Yeah. And they wouldn't let me back on the stage again because I didn't have the right pass. And I said, it's my theatre. <laughs> And they said, it doesn't matter, you haven't got a pass. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Well, yeah, you've got some me. very interesting stories. Um, we must get you in again to come. <laughs> Let's see who else you don't like. I love it. Um, so, uh, who have you got coming up, then? We've got uh, Jimmy Carr, assuming well, that's the right person, Jim, of course. Jimmy, you, Jim, you may not Jim, have him. Jimmy no. Carr is, is great, yeah. and, it, and it's, it's, it's always good fun for that one. But uh, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. We've got Marty Wilde. Marty Wilde You, you won't Wilde. remember Marty no Wilde, idea, will no. you? No, I do. Yes. Well, somebody told me about him, yeah. Well, he, he's a bit like an amazingly talented granddad. Okay. <laughs> careful, he, careful. He, yeah. He's really good. It's a yeah. super show. Yeah. Um, and most of the young people under 30 have no idea who he is. But he's very talented. Under 30. Yes, no yes. Idea who no. He is. <laughs> anyway, Paul, well, a lot coming up, and it's a great, great theatre to go to. And uh, thank you for coming along. And long may the Britannia live, eh? Exactly, eh? Yeah. Eh? Paul, You're thanks for coming welcome. in. Thank you. Right, it's time to get some carnival spirit in our lives. Music, please. That is quite sinister. Helen, make it stop. Make no, it stop. I, no, make I quite like it. See? That is scary. Mm. Is this me? Oh, is here's oh. Dan.